Hey everyone, welcome to the First Person Gameplay Commentary. My name, of course, is Drybear, and today we'll be taking a look at Guan Yu. I haven't played him in quite a while, and he's probably one of my lesser played characters, so hopefully I do him justice today. I'm going to be laning with a, with a uh, Wukong here, which is actually a very, very powerful lane. Uh, both of our ultimates combined at level 5 is very, very powerful. Very difficult to deal with, and hopefully this works out quite well. Um, I'm going to go over the right lane. Guan Yu is an excellent laner. Making sure nothing happens there. Um, so his passive is called Fortified Defense, and basically if you stand near a physical structure, including Phoenixes and the Minotaur, um, you'll have plus 20 physical and magical protections. This works against uh, enemy structures as well, so if you're diving a tower, you have extra protection. Uh, this is his passive, and when be denoted by his shoulders glowing gold, if you see I step near my tower, my shoulders start glowing. Um, his first ability is called Tranquil Gift. This is an AoE heal, which will heal all allies nearby, and if you land it on nearby gods, allied gods, um, it will reduce his cooldowns by two seconds. Second ability is called Warrior's Will, which I picked up first is a short dash, which will do magic damage to everyone it passes through, um, and also slow them by 25% for two seconds. His third ability is called Talu Assault. This is a spamming of his Warglaive. Um, this will do magic damage every 0.4 seconds for four seconds, so a total of 10 hits. Um, it does some pretty significant magic damage if you go for that, um, and is quite good at sustained damage as well. Um, his ultimate is called Tactician's Advantage, and this is a three-part, three-tiered uh, ultimate, which will do magic damage in the beginning, and the slam. he'll jump in the air and slam down the first time, doing magic damage and slowing everyone by 25%. Um, if they get hit a second time, it'll do 150% magic damage, the first damage that it did, um, and then it will... Um, Silence them for two seconds, and then the third hit, if they get hit a third time, it will stun them for two seconds. Uh, two seconds. Yeah, two seconds, and will do 200% damage of the original damage. This list here is 75, it'll do 150%, then 200% if they get hit by all three hits. Um, if you hit, let's say, for the first hit, and then the third hit, you miss the second one, they will be slowed and silenced. They have to be hit three times successfully um, to get that, uh, that stun off. They're pushing pretty hard here, so I'm going to start uh, utilizing my mana a little bit more, uh, make sure this goes down. Uh, we can probably get a little bit more aggressive as well. Alquong pretty much out of mana. What did he pick up? He out of meditation, so he's about to get full mana again. This guy's going to be going for a stun here. They have the minion advantage here, so trading here would not be good for us. Alquong's about to use his meditation, most likely. I would use it sooner rather than later. That way his cooldown comes up sooner. As far as skill build goes, you definitely want to max out um, Warrior's Will first. It does the most damage and it's definitely really good in the laning phase. Um, I usually, if you're going for damage, will follow up with Taolu Assault. I'll be tanking this game, so I might put points into the Warrior's Will. Um, but most likely maxing out, or Tranquil Gift, but most likely maxing out Warrior's Will first. Um, and putting points into Taolu Assault, or maybe just going straight into the heal, depending on how the game goes. I mean, at this point, we're just waiting for uh, us to hit 5. We'll have the advantage once we hit 5, because all we have to do is dodge Alquong's ultimate. And Emir's ultimate is pretty easy to avoid as well. They don't really have much synergy here. Um, he can stun us, and then he can throw a tornado on top of us. Looks like Alquong just hit 5. Um, but other than that, there's not a whole lot they can do. He's going to go for a stun if he can. On both of us, I'm going to split so we can only get one of us. Um, definitely a good idea to split. Make sure that the AoE damage is limited. You don't want to cluster next to your teammates. A very important uh, fact to uh, recognize when you're playing this game. Um, so what we can do is either he leads or I lead either way um, if it's probably a little bit easier if he goes he Ended up not getting the ultimate off which really helps. I don't know if we'll be able to kill this guy um, But that was just really easy for us. That's basically what we're waiting for is just an easy pick there We just wanted that opportunity to hit level 5 and then take them out and then that will just give us our um... is ready. Enemy missing left. I don't know if I can solo this. Ymir's still not level 5. Attack. Okay. Retreat! Be careful. This is gonna hurt, but it's not gonna kill me. 
One thing you do want to make sure you listen for, sound is really big in this game. Um, you can pick off uh, abilities that are being used or anything like that just by listening. Uh, Al Kuang Ultimate is a big one. Uh, that's a really uh, recognizable one. Both our ultimates are back up. And again, we just want to jump on the Al Kuang. So that was a really good stun response by the Emir, and that was what I, what I was looking for. Um, just wanted to wait for that. Uh, I don't think he got the Al Kuang in the ultimate either, so that was a big uh, issue for us. Al Kuang's out of mana, I think his meditation's on cooldown as well. I'm just going to force him back and zone him. Um, so the meditation just came back up. He'll have enough for a squall here, most likely. There's the squall. There's no animation. That's fine. And basically, if someone leaves the lane like uh, Emir just did, what I can do is I can just sit here and zone him. Um, he can't really do too much to me. Emir's back now, but um, just want to force him back so he doesn't have the, the experience or the gold um, from sitting here. If he doesn't have a partner, he shouldn't be taking advantage of the leisure time to sit there and get experience or, or farm. You just definitely want to zone him out. Emir's looking for a stun most likely, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this up. I think I'm going to start pointing points into the heal as well, like I have been. Missed that stun, unfortunately. Really good bounces there. An ally has been slain. Your middle tower. I have a meditation coming up in 20 seconds. Um, and this is this is the kind of build that's really, really strong in the early game because you have really good regeneration. Ooh, he's forcing it. If he had mana, he might. Really good opportunity for us there. Just recognized that and went for it. Definitely a good time for both of us to head back. Good money, good gold, all that kind of stuff. Um, and this is a really good combination, these two characters together. Um, let's see. Go ahead and pick that up. Um, take stock. We have magic, magic, physical, magic, a lot of magic, and Thor's really the only physical, although he does have a, a heart seeker. Um, but I'm not really too concerned about him. So, what I can do since we're winning the lane is go for a void stone. This gives me magic protection, but also allows me to do a little bit more uh, damage myself. And then I'll be able to uh, take advantage of that. Um, what items you choose is, and I'm, I've been thinking about it for a while doing tutorial on uh, how to choose items and when to choose items, but the thing is, it's like, it's it's dependent on what your team comp is, what the enemy team comp is, how you're doing in your lane, what you're up against. If you are doing very, very well in your lane, you could easily use that um, to buy more expensive items that you normally wouldn't, uh, like, say, going for a Deathbringer or something like that when you normally wouldn't, just because you're so far ahead in gold that it allow you to go for that kind of risk, um, and if it pays off, then you're even further ahead than you were before. That was a really good response there from the Emir. What I can do is I can wait. Um, if they come up at all, I can easily just jump on that Alquong. Can try and take their blue here. Be careful, Retreat! 
Um, there was a bit of a lag problem there. I was trying to say retreat because I saw that Hades coming, but I couldn't really <laughs> say it in time, and it seemed like the game was lagging a bit too, so. I have the blue buff plus the passive meditation plus my uh, mana potion, so my mana is going up really, really quickly. So I'm just going to be sitting here spamming my heals to keep myself up. He can stun me easily. Um, this could be bad for me. That's about all they got, though. I'm getting double tanked here. <laughs> Two tanks coming at me, so I'm just going to be sitting here spamming my abilities. Next time, I'm not going to dash outward. Um, that was pretty silly of me. You never want to put yourself in a position like that. So what I'm going to do, um, looks like a mirror's out of mana, actually. Got to avoid those tornadoes. Definitely when you're going up against Ao Kuang, you never want to stand near the minions or where the minions are going to walk. It's very, very difficult. Hades. Come on now, buddy. We have a, a, a man mode in here. Need to get a little bit more HP on both of us, or all, all three of us here, before I'm comfortable going. So we have four rights. Someone said on my way, that would be the Artemis. I got no one with me. Unfortunately. I wonder if I can... I'm going to get one more heal in and try and go for this uh, health buff. That was a decent trade for us. Um, it wasn't super bad, but it really allowed us to pick up that Thor, uh, which was getting out of hand. Um, and then he, he dropped all his Heart Secret stacks then. Um, so it really helps us that we got that. Um, and that's really the, the main concern that I had there was uh, killing that Odin. Or that, that Thor, sorry. Um, we're actually behind by a lot. Uh, looks like the enemy is doing really, really well. The Thor, uh, Guan Yu, is doing really well in the other lane. Um, Pretty much the only lane that's winning is ours. Looks like our mid's not doing too great either. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we'll definitely just need to farm it up and be really careful. Um, and we'll be able to take this back pretty easily. Again, we can dive on this. We can dive on this Al Kuang if he's not ready. He might be backing, but I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. Don't surrender. Don't surrender. No. I refuse. I know the uh, dragon's coming back soon, so I want to bring this out a bit so we can't hit it over the wall. Don't phase me. Enemy missing left. Voidstone was a good buy. Enemy missing middle. Oh, this is not good. Oof. 
Oh, craziness. Artemis is here too. Looks like Guan Yu's heading back. I'm just zoning him. I have no intention of fighting him. I just want him out of here. Al Kong's gonna throw down a tornado here soon. There it is. Destroy the right enemy tower. Retreat! Retreat! Oh, wow. Hades is coming in, which is really bad for us. Be careful. He sees me, he kind of wants it. Your middle Phoenix is under a retreat. Uh, big, big downfall there was uh, getting caught or getting caught by that wall. Hades is going to go for an ulti here if he can. That's what his sprint is for. So I'm going to go ahead and split here so he has to choose. He wants me originally just because of my HP bar. Um, you see how there you kind of twitch to see what he wanted. I'm just going to back. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to dip. Um, if he forces his ult here, um, this might allow us to win. Looks like he's going to back anyway. I'm going to get a little bit of physical defense. An ally has been slain. Uh, this is good just because it's a good split of physical defense, but gives me some magic power and some MP5. Um, and I'm really just looking towards... Uh, Doing a, being a little bit more offensive just because their majority of their team is based off of magic damage and when you have a, a team that's not well split like that it allows you to uh, focus on one defense and also uh, go for damage as well not a whole lot I can do about this A little bit too eager there for me. Um, I shouldn't have been there, but I was just trying to make sure that they didn't get the tower. We're getting railed. 9k loss there in gold. Pretty bad. But it happens. Um, it's to be expected in random games like these. Let's see. Their Hades is doing really, really good. Went for a rod first too. And this is what I was talking about earlier, where if you uh, have a big lead like he has, I mean he's level 17, definitely seven kills, one death. I mean his farm is, is sensational. Um, so he went for a rod first, which is something that's very expensive and won't pay off right away. Um, it takes a long time before you uh, see a benefit from having a rod. Um, however, since he was doing so well in the lane, he went for it, and now we're at a point where he got a really expensive item so quickly. There's not much we can really do to deal with it. They're doing a split push here. Wow. I'm going to lead it a bit just because he's going to dash. Wow. Should have known that was coming. As you can see, I don't play this guy very much. Hey, he's going to come in here for ultimate. I want to zone the Thor out so he can't really help. And the Alquang as well. So it's just them in the tank. And I need to pull back a second here. Ymir's coming as well. There's the ultimate that I was looking for. Most likely going to die here. I need to pull back as quickly as I can. Odin's going to go down. An ally has been slain. We're just getting outplayed. Plain and simple. Fire. 
haven't played Agni in a while. I might play him next game. But I have had a, a few requests. I think someone wanted me to play a Bakasura game and someone wanted a Zeus game. So I'll probably play those. And I'll work my way back to Agni. Definitely a rough game. One of those tough ones. But I'll probably post it anyway. Some good uh, situations in here. Run past a bit. Hopefully pull this all away. Yeah, yeah. Yawn. Yawn. That's not a yawn. That's a ow. We can blow everything on him. Yes. Huge pick for us. That was huge. Um, the Happy New Year comes out. Good stun. I'm going to get a slow off here. There's a sprint up. I'm going to dodge this ultimate. Guan Yu's going to come in. This is going to hurt. Oh, boy. I'm going to go down here. Yep. Odin trailing a bit, uh, maybe overextended a bit, trying to pick off the squishies in the back. Artemis has no boar right now, so there's not really a whole lot they can do here. Use it about the same time I use my ultimate, I have about 38 seconds left. I think the Artemis ultimate is a little bit quicker than the Guan Yu ultimate, so hers should be coming up in about 25 to 30 seconds. Ooh, this Guan Yu's killing it. Wiggle waggle! Um... Yeah, he went for some good damage here. Spear of the Magus, Void Stone. Uh, that's the sad part about playing a tank um, when your carries are being um, killed a lot uh, or ganked a lot. Is that there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, at this point, I just I can't. There's no one else that's tanking. Um, I guess Odin kind of is, but that's gonna be that. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see me play a specific god. Go ahead and request that in the comment section below. But I really look forward to seeing you in my next video.